Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here. Hold on, let me adjust this for just a second here. I wanna make sure that the bottom of what I wrote is in. There we go. You can see all of the really helpful information in one shot. Yes, okay. So, how's everybody doing? Just, yeah. Busy day, awesome day, loving it. Um, but I wanna talk about you know, really what to focus on for your body and system and how to really help chronic fatigue, right? How to really help that. Now, when we talk about chronic fatigue, this can mean different things to different people, right? And it's a hard thing to like just get a test for. Uh, you know what I mean? So if you are feeling exhausted all the time, you have a hard time getting going, you're like, gosh, maybe if I just got to the gym, but you try and work out and you're like, my muscles are just, ugh weak and I, I'm not recovering well. What the heck is wrong with my system? Chronic fatigue, yeah, that feels like it's me. I wake up tired, I'm tired during the day, and I'm exhausted and I try to go to sleep and that's terrible, mm-hmm, right? So these are, you know, energy issues, right? And so, something telling you that your system is, system is off. It's really hard to just say exactly what it is or do this one thing, of course, so I've got a list of things that could be a contributing factor for you to look at. Um, Lucy, <laughs> this is what I've been battling with. Ah, okay, ashwagandha B12. That's, those are good starts. Um, but a lot of times when you're looking at chronic fatigue and being really stuck in one place, one of the big things too is to realize like your system might be battling with something completely different than somebody else's system. So of course, it is helpful if you get the exact roadmap that you would need to really take care of this issue. So right there in the comments, uh, I put a link. You can learn more about working with me more one-on-one. -on -one. If you're like, I just, I need, I need somebody to just list out all the things I need to do. Tell me what they are, I will do them. That's where we can do that there. So, but in general, when you're looking at chronic fatigue, some things to really look at are, do you have a nutrient deficiency that could be contributing to your fatigue issues? If you're lacking in a nutrient, I don't care like that you're eating the perfect diet. If your body's not absorbing it, mm, right? You're not actually getting that nutrient then and you can be deficient. Um, being iron deficient can lead to a lot of fatigue. Um, um, and you'll see here, so what do we do about that, right? Increasing your nutrients besides iron, one of the number one things that makes a huge impact in your energy levels and getting rid of that chronic fatigue for women is really increasing your protein. I talk so much about protein, but it is really that important and makes such a huge impact on your body and system. So yeah, again, you can take all these fancy vitamins and like energy drinks and all that stuff, but if you're not getting protein, it's not gonna do squat, honestly, seriously. So protein is the place to start. Absolutely the place to start. Yes. Um, and I've done other videos on this. I'm holding myself back right now from like diving down the protein rabbit hole because I love talking about it so much. But my YouTube channel is Dr. Beth Westy. I have more videos there on protein, protein pacing, how to incorporate it, all the things. Okay. Other thing to increase in nutrients that can make a big difference is minerals. Making sure your body's getting enough minerals, electrolytes, things like that. You can get them in, you know, droppers, um, powders, you know, liquid. You can um, add them to your water. Great. Get those minerals in. It makes a big difference overall. It really, really does. So that's taking care of the nutrient deficiency issue right there. Gut issues can contribute to your chronic fatigue. You have indigestion, bloat, all these other problems and, and stuff going on. What do we do to help the gut? I mean, I recently went through, we had that five day, um, the free five day challenge where it's a, it was a gut detox. So if you missed out on that, stay tuned for the next one that we'll be having, um, the five day you know, challenge that we'll have, where we talk about gut stuff in that as well. Uh, but adding probiotics, adding digestive enzymes, great start. You can add apple cider vinegar, easy way to do this, kombucha, kimchi, um, kefir, all these other like fermented foods, they'll have active probiotics and digestive enzymes in them. And having some every day can really help boost your gut health to help with gut issues. That can help boost your energy. It really, really can. Again, that tells you, oh my gosh, I must have had a gut issue contributing to my fatigue. Oh mm, gosh. Sleep issues. Because all these things can lead to that decrease in energy overall. So sleep issues. If you're having issues, you know, going to sleep, staying asleep, mm -hmm, that's going to be a huge contributing factor, right? Um, so the thing with getting that in and working with your sleep issues is this is really tricky because you can feel tired, but your brain won't turn off to actually help you get to sleep. Ooh, right? And sometimes taking melatonin can be helpful, but sometimes it's not. Why? Oh, because if your body is not deficient in melatonin, mm, 
melatonin's not gonna help you. So getting a good sleep routine, actually telling your brain, oh hey, it's time to calm down, time to go to sleep, let's do that thing, right? So you tell your system, okay, shift brain waves, let's calm everything down, right? So doing a sleep routine like um, calming lights, like dim lights, right? That's really helpful, soft music, no screens, 30 minutes before bed, Epsom salt bath, I like to drink a cup of cacao at night, all those things are really helpful to tell your body to wind down, right? If you've got kids or you've raised kids, it's the same thing. If you've got a toddler that is, I mean, not that adults are sometimes large toddlers. <laughs> Let's face it, we are, right? We are sometimes. But if your system's having a hard time, right? Treat it like it's a toddler. Treat your own body like it's a toddler. What do you gotta do? Hammer out a good sleep routine. Train your system in your body that at this time, we are gonna start winding our body down. We as adults go through so many things throughout the day. So many thought processes, so many decisions, so many things, right? Our brains are going in so many different directions. So how do we turn that off? And if it gets going so much, it just can't, right? You have to help it calm down. It's just not like, oh, my body's tired, I should go to sleep. You have to train your brain to decompress. And that's what having a good sleep routine does. It's not just about taking some type of thing that's gonna knock you out because that doesn't always work. Or you feel groggy and terrible when you wake up, which doesn't help your fatigue, right? Sleep routine is really helpful. If you guys want me to do a whole video on just sleep routine, I can and really hammer out the points there. But let me know if that's what, if that's something you're looking for. Um, if not, you know, we'll move on to some other things. Uh, but this is really, really important. Again, all of these things can contribute. There's more things to this list, but these are some of the major ones. So if you are thinking, oh my gosh, I've, I've been really exhausted, I've had some fatigue, and you're like, yeah, maybe I could get more protein and minerals, yep, oh yeah, I definitely need to help my gut, and I, if I get a good sleep routine going, that might help me, and you start doing some of these things, and it does, that's a great start. That's a great start. By no means the end of it, right? Because again, if you're like, well, that helped me, like maybe 50%, but I still feel there's something else, then that's where we would need to take a deeper dive and really look at what your system specifically needs. Your health is never gonna be a one size fits all, right? It, it just, it doesn't work, right? Your body, if you're having an issue with something, it's really important that you're going through and giving your system what your system specifically needs, right? Fitting all the right puzzle pieces together. So again, click that link in the comments, that's where we go through that. Um, also, if you're looking for more information, more resources, I have a podcast called The Female Health Solution. I talk a lot more about health things there and also interview other amazing people um, on that podcast. And then my book, The Female Fat Solution, this is on Amazon. I talk all about nutrition, hormones, cycle, everything. I go through pro protein, protein pacing in this book as well. If you're looking for like a paper resource, to, to go to. So, um, what was it that somebody, okay, sleep routine. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I'll do a video of sleep routine tomorrow. Oh, Carrie hasn't gotten a good full complete night's sleep and you, how long you can't remember. Yeah. Yeah. It can be so hard to come back from not getting good sleep. I mean, you can survive like a day or two or something. It was like not getting great sleep, but once you hit like three days, it can really start to mess with your system in a big way. It's hard to come back from that. Yeah. So Carrie, tomorrow I'm doing a video, sleep routine. Let me know if you guys have any other questions or if you need any other help, I'm here as a resource for you. I really want it. My mission is just to educate women more on these types of, this type of information that so you can make these changes, these tweaks in your life to see an improvement and also to give you the information to know where you need to make changes to really get to and stay at the best health possible for you. All right. That's what I got for you guys tonight. Thank you for tuning in. And if you found this helpful and know of somebody else that could use this info, please share this with them. That way more people, more women can get this info and start their own journey to getting better, feeling better, and helping their chronic fatigue. All right. I'll see you guys later. Have a great rest of your night.